if you are planning to become a general surgeon in Germany or you're already starting your residency here, this video will walk you through the full pathway, including the duration, the logbook and something very important that most people don't talk about. The fact that in Germany, residents usually learn most of their surgical skills much later in their training. And yes, uh, for many international doctors, this can feel a bit disappointing in the beginning. General surgery in Germany or Facharzt for Allgemeine Chirurgie is officially a six-year training program. But unlike structured residency programs in the USA or the UK, German training is not front-loaded with hands-on surgical experience. The system here is based on an apprenticeship model. You gradually gain responsibility. And only when your consultants feel you are ready, do you start operating independently. This means the first one to two years often focus more on ward work, documentation, emergency department shifts and learning the system. Many residents only start getting regular OR time in the later years. And let's be honest, this can be frustrating, especially when you compare it to other countries. In the USA, surgical residents have a very structured and progressive program. From day one, you are expected to assist, observe, and gradually perform surgeries under supervision. The curriculum clearly outlines what a PGY1, PGY2, and PGY3 should be doing, and hands-on experience starts early. The UK has a similar structured approach with a core surgical training, CST, followed by specialty training, where a trainee's surgical exposure and case numbers are tightly monitored from the beginning. In both systems, there is a clear pathway and predictable progression. Germany is different. You might spend months or sometimes years before you get enough operating time to feel confident. But the upside is that once you enter the later part of your residency, you often get to perform a very high number of cases and you gain independence quickly. The learning curve is steep in years four, five and six. And that's when most German residents complete the bulk of their surgical logbook. Speaking of the logbook, uh, this is the backbone of surgical training. Every state's medical council, Erzstekammer, defines the exact number of procedures, competencies and ICU rotations required. For general surgery, the logbook includes hundreds of entries, appendectomies, cholecystectomies, hernia repairs, emergency laparotomies, trauma care, endoscopic procedures, and ICU management. Some procedures must be done independently as the primary surgeon, while others can be completed as the assistant. Your consultants must sign off on every skill and procedure. Because the logbook is competency-based, you are responsible for tracking your progress. Some hospitals provide a structured rotation plan but many do not. Successful trainees constantly check what they've completed and what's still missing. And this is exactly why the early years can feel slow. You're building foundational knowledge, but the key operations come later. Once you complete the six years and your logbook is approved, you can apply for the Fakarschprüfung, the final oral exam. There is no written test, just an in-depth oral examination on surgical decision-making, emergency scenarios, anatomy, complications, and the rationale behind your clinical choices. It usually lasts 30 to 60 minutes. So, in summary, becoming a general surgeon in Germany is a six-year journey, but the real hands-on surgical learning ramps up later compared to the USA and UK. The early phase can feel less surgical and more administrative, but the final years provide strong operative exposure and independence. If you're patient, proactive and strategic about your rotations and logbook, you will come out well-trained, but you need to understand the structure from the beginning. 